back with your weekly exciting numbers on the real estate market here. Just finished up the report right now. Switched it up. I was doing it Friday nights, but it seems like after everybody got done with uh, work, uh, the, the work week and the school week with kids, I don't know if they were put, paying full attention to all this data. So I switched it up. Wanted to start showing it on Monday. So this report I switched over now to a seven-day report. So it's now Monday through Sunday instead of a four-day snapshot. Numbers all pretty much went up accordingly, so nothing, no big changes here. Let's jump right into it and look what we got for you this week. Um, looking at uh, the week of April 6th through the 12th, again, Monday through this past Sunday, our inventory jumped up just uh, almost 200 homes, nothing, nothing too scary. Um, again, we're comparing it off of the first week of February through uh, February 24th through March 1st. So we were at 1165. We're at 1218. I put it in red again just because we're above that number, but it's not a big, it's not a big jump. Uh, nothing to be alarmed about at all. New listings, 124 listings came on the market. Um, put that in green there. Again, we're less than our original uh, week prior to all this COVID-19 stay-at-home deal. So 120, 124 uh, homes on the market is, is still a good number. It's lower than what we had. Solds, 122. Again, we're still seeing those numbers closing from back uh, you know, a month or two months ago. Uh, 30, 60 days out. We expect those again to still closing at some pretty decent numbers for the next few weeks anyway. Pendings, look at what's still happening with these pendings. All of a sudden, they're starting to jump up again. Two weeks into it, we had 112 pendings, March 23rd through March 29th. Dropped down to 102 last week, popped up to 138. Again, we're still seeing agents out there getting some multiple offers on their homes. There's still some activity out there, which is good of this low inventory. We have this low inventory. It's still creating a demand. Even with what's going on right now with you know majority of the people out of work right now, there is still a demand with this low inventory and that's exciting. That's what we want to see. We want to see people that have to sell, that need to sell, be able to sell. So this is a great thing. Um, price reduction, 72. I put it in yellow. Again, it's not good. It's not bad. Um, people trying to attract that buyer still. You know, um, Very interesting that I saw on these pendings this month. Check this out. 31 days is our average pending right now. 31 days is your average pending. You go back three, four months ago, our average time pending was about 60 days on the market. 60 days before they were able to put these homes in escrow right now in the middle of this pandemic stay-at-home order, it's dropped down to about 31 and a half days on the market before they go pending. Again, weirdest thing. Everybody's out of work, but the market continues to move, which is a good thing. Um, price increases, we had 10 of them out there back on the market. I put that in red again because we're above that uh, original um, week that uh, before all this stuff happened. So we had 70 um, come back on the market. The rest of them expired, canceled, withdrawals. Again, those are good because they come off the market. All in all, everything's still looking great. I want to keep you guys up to date. I'll put this out again next Monday. We'll rerun some numbers and look at it here. Um, I hear a lot of people out there talking about forbearances or forgivenesses, basically putting the uh, payments onto the back or what is happening here. If they're going for, let's say they're going to forgive the payment for three months. All of a sudden, they're going to add those three months up and ask for the fourth month payment plus those three month payments. So if anybody's asking for forbearances um, and any of your any of your clients, any of your homeowners are asking or talking about forbearances or doing a forbearance, it's going to affect them. It's going to hit their credit. They're going to get 90 day, 90 day lates. They're going to be affected on that. I know there's some webinars coming up for that. When those come up, we'll post them as well. But be uh, be up to date, be um, aware and be knowledgeable on what, uh, what what's going to be coming up and what questions are going to be coming up. Um, to you as realtors from your clients, from your homeowners on what to do if they start missing payments or if they need to start missing payments. Uh, be uh, comfortable on that lingo here, but we'll be putting some webinars uh, up. I know some lenders are getting ready to put some together. So uh, thank you for uh, continuing to listen, to continuing to watch, and I hope this information is useful to you guys. And remember, on all your transactions, make sure you're choosing Mike and Bobby with Chicago Title. Have a great evening.